This is N2LEN uh, with a continuing test of the Motorola 100 watt UHF station, uh, converting it over to uh, D Star. Uh, right now, you're listening to the test repeater. We just successfully interfaced it tonight. Uh, currently, you're listening to the, um, the D Star International Net, which is actually on. Um, Reflector 001 Charlie, and uh, this is on Sunday evening, and a perfect time to actually make some adjustments. There was quite a bit of fine tuning on the TX deviation in the RF, the RSSS. We'll do a follow-up video with the programming, but currently we are using a DVR-PTR digital voice modem. And the computer that we're using is a Raspberry Pi Model B, original model, second revision of the Raspberry Pi. It's an older model, 16 gigabit, gigabit um, SD card, 16 gigabyte SD card. And currently on this card, we have the Western UK, the most recent uh, Jesse image taken directly off of the website. And uh, very easy to follow. Uh, step-by-step -step actually instructions how to on uh, Jim Jim's website that's uh, www.k6 JM the repeater is currently running um, at uh, low power it's at um, 24 watts and you could see uh, listening to Connie I'll actually let you listen to her audio you know up there Beautiful crystal clear audio. Uh, the repeater is transmitting right on 442.050. Uh, you take a come around and you can take a look at the service monitor. You can see that it is actually uh, right on the modulation meter at 1.2 kilohertz, give or take a bit of deviation right now on the actual uh, meter as you can see right there uh, if you come right over here we'll show you the front on basically how it was interfaced right in the front if we pop this off you could see on the inside we're running uh, the signal cable which is actually a mouse cord with a six pin mini jack right on the top you can see the screen cord. We actually took an old mouse and we cut the cord off. But this is feeding right into the back and as you could see, sitting in the inside cage we have the cable wrapped up. And it's being those five signal wires are tapping right off of the back pin soldered directly to the back of the J5 backplane connector. We disassembled the backplane off of the back of the repeater. Uh, there are a couple of torque screws and this cage there's six screws two three okay, on this this now. side four five six screws this whole cage comes out uh, there are two voltage regulators that have to be disconnected from the back plane and so removed from the actual chassis and then you could actually take off the back plane and solder the wires uh, directly to the pin so nothing has to be fed from the back it's very easy and it makes a really really good connection. Uh, we did etch out, as you could see, the cover just for the uh, the six pin uh, mini jack so we don't kink the wire when we snap the cover back on. As you can see it fits right in there. Just lift it on and we'll snap the cover back on. And you can actually see how the repeater right here down on the lights, how it goes into TX as people are talking. Uh, how it goes into transmit from receive and then when uh, Connie keys up you can see how it goes into TX followed by the same TX light on the DVR PTR the red transmit light you can actually see once again we'll let you listen to the audio this is uh, my first call on D-Star. The TX deviation needed to be adjusted pretty low on, in the RSS. The receive, the discriminator order is running flat and the levels are set about 60. We have the TX deviation also around 60. We noticed that if we dropped it, 
uh, if we had it up too high, even though the signal was being um, received on the actual HT, we noticed that it wasn't being heard on the actual um, on the actual mobile radio, which is the ICOM uh, 2820. So once we dropped the TX deviation, it brought in. Both radios were receiving pretty well. I'm sure we're probably going to have to tweak the audio once again when we uh, use a, an ICOM uh, 5100 or a 51A HT. But this is basically it. Crystal clear audio. Uh, we already checked in. Connie gave us a beautiful audio check uh, going into the repeater. And hopefully the next part of this project would be now that we have all the levels set on the repeater, we know all the TX and RX invers inversion settings, that hopefully maybe we'll be able to once again try to interface it to a ZUM, uh, MMDVM ZUM interface with an, uh, an Arduino Dewey and a Pi 2. So with that said, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at n2len at aol.com and we'll say best of 73 from n2len. Good night. Or does anybody else have anything else uh, for the net? If not, okay, the uh, total thing close the net. M-A-O-R-L-Wayne. Okay, and this is the 2820. We just came into the radio room, and we'll let you listen to the same net that was running on the same test. So you can see how the 2820 is now decoding D star beautifully and the uh, when the TX levels are set right the actual voice head has come in actually perfect as every station keys up. I just want to jump in and say hi to everybody and enjoy listening to D star. I listen more than I talk but I do This is M2 LEN best 73 MTR 2000 Homebrew DVR PTR version 1 Raspberry Pi B model with the rain, so with that back to net control and Tommy, you do a wonderful job. Can't eat Oreo back to net. I'll actually show you where the okay. Well, continuing really quick uh, as we move up to the screen. This is as you could see. This is the website right up here. It's um, www.k6jm.com, and then you click on D Star. And it brings you all this information, which is what I just used for this image. As you can see, this particular image uh, basically it discusses uh, models of Pi for the B, the B Plus version 2s and 3. It is a fantastic site that will walk you through the entire setup on how to log in, the different VNC um, softwares. The actual image that we loaded, if you come right here to get the image file, go to Western Star. Okay, westerndstar.co.uk you click it and here we go this is actually you can see it's highlighted this is the Jesse based Esau widget image version for the B version 2 and 3 compatible um, and you just actually you go through it now over here it says an SD card 4 gigabyte or above this particular image if you actually look I'll actually show you the size of the image once you uh, it is a RAR um, file India, format, Canada, but the actual Canada, image it, itself uh, is a. Uh, hold on one second Australia. here. Let me come in here and show you, show Please. it to you. It's yeah. actually so almost like eight gigs, and an eight gigabyte SD card uh, would not or allow. Or I could not write to it um, an eight gigabyte. So we're actually using a sixteen gigabyte SD card. And basically, uh, once you download it and you unzip it, you then burn it to the SD card. And, and, and the actual, all this, it tells you exactly on Jim's site, it's a step-by-step -step explanation of how to do it all, which is what I followed tonight. Uh, it tells you to download and install uh, several different um, uh a software packages that will allow you to log in, configure, uh, browse, you know, with uh, PuTTY, a Win SCP, and of course the uh, the Win32 Disk Manager and Tight VNC. Tight VNC is what they use, uh, what you would be using to log in to the actual uh, repeater. 
So if you want to actually go into the, take a look at the Pi and see how the software is running, you do not need a mouse, keyboard, or a monitor. You just basically uh, click connect and you type in the password and you will log right into the terminal and here you go, here are the two softwares that are running correct, uh, currently right now on the DVR-PTR as we showed you in the last video. D-Star Repeater, and this is from, uh, I think it's October 12, 2015, and the latest version of uh, IRCDDB Gateway, which is 1116, November 16, 2015. Both of them are running in the background, and that's basically it. Uh, that's how it all works, and uh, we'll say best 7-3 from N2LEN. Have a great night.